I'm Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. I have one of my followers that was asking to make chewy chocolate cookies, low carb. Well, I played and I played and I can't get them chewy but I really came up with a really nice recipe for a low carb chocolate cookie. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So the first thing I've got here is my homemade low carb chocolate chips. You can use Lily's, um, I think that's a brand name and there's other un, uh, sugar free chocolate chips but I'm using mine for this recipe and I'm using two thirds of a cup which is around four ounces or a hundred grams of chocolate chips and then I've got two tablespoons of salted butter which is approximately 28.4 grams of butter or half an ounce of butter. So I am going to put this in the microwave and melt it. So I've got it melted. There's a couple little chunks in there but it'll all soften up. That's melted. So now I'm going to put in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. stir that up. Now it's not super hot, it's just lukewarm, so I'm just going to add in my egg. So I have a beaten egg and I'm going to put it in here. One egg. Just make sure that it's not super, super hot because you don't want to cook your egg. Let me use my little whisper here. My mini mini when it, someone made a comment it was the smallest whisker they've ever seen in the world. But it comes in handy. So I'm just going to mix that up in here. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to bring in another bowl just so we can mix our dry ingredients together. So I have a quarter cup of almond flour. And I have two tablespoons of cocoa. Now we're going to add in a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And I have half a cup, which is about 90.5 grams of um, powdered erythritol. And I always powder mine before I even, as soon as I get it home, I powder it. Just so I have it all ready to go, because it could be a pain in the butt if you needed to powder it when you're just doing one recipe. So I'm just going to mix this all together. Right. So now I'm going to put my chocolate into my mixing bowl because I'm going to use my Hamilton Beach mixer. cleaned up here. So I'm just going to mix this up and then I'm going to add in the dry ingredients. So I'm going to take my dry mixture, put it in there and we're going to mix it up. I just scrape the sides and I'm just checking to make sure I've got it all good. I'm just going to go fast to clean off the... There we go. Okay, I'm going to clean everything up and then we're going to get ready to put this all together. Now you can use chocolate chips to put in them also. It's up to you. But it's delicious and I think you're going to enjoy these. So you can work with gloves on or you can work uh, just in your bare hands. You're going to get chocolate on your hands but um, it's very easy to work with the dough. So I'm going to just work at putting them together to make our cookies. And I'll just keep doing that till I got them all done. Then we'll press them and I'll put a chocolate chip on top. And then we'll be able to bake them. 
So now I've got them all rolled out. All I've done is I've got a little dish of water and my fork. I always like using a dessert fork. And I'm just going to press down the cookies. And I'm going to put a chocolate chip on each cookie. And then they're going in the oven at 350 for approximately 10 minutes. It all depends on your oven. Now these, they feel dry, but they are excellent. They're not really chewy, and I know that's what she was asking for, but they just, they're, they're delish. They're really, really good. So, and when I'm, you can see I can, they're, they're cracking along the edge. You can press them down to make perfect circles if you'd like. That's up to you. So, I will continue doing this, and then we will put them in the oven at 350 for approximately 10 minutes. I almost forgot I was going to put my chocolate chip in the center of each one, and I'm just putting one in. They're very sweet. We could cut back on the uh, sweetener if we'd like, but they're tasty. They're really nice. Okay, now let's get them in the oven. Well, here's the final results. Now, I bake them for approximately 10 to 11 minutes. I don't want to overbake them because I wanted them to still be soft. I didn't want them to be too crunchy. I would have liked them chewy, but I just, I tried so many times and I couldn't get them totally chewy, but these are really, really good. I know you're going to like them. So let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. Great flavor. Really good flavor. Now it has a cooling sensation because I used erythritol, but it's still delicious. You can use a different sweetener if you'd like. In fact, I did the erythritol and monk fruit with this one. It's a combination that I picked up at the bulk barn, but they're quite tasty. So if you would like to go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, try my chocolate cookie and try some of my others. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.